Now, I appreciate everybody that's still watching the videos for Madden 23 tips. I know very late in the season, but I think and I approach this game differently, especially for new players or people that want to try Madden out and want to learn, right? Because there are a lot of bunch of new people probably getting this game for free at this point, probably in the game pass. I don't know, just heavy discounts and they just want to see what's up and they look for tips. So today I'm going to show you guys uh, if you're playing Madden 23, you'll realize that Madden defense is pretty much the most dominant defense in the game. But with the tips that I share with you today, I'm going to show you guys how to easily tell if you're going to be beating the man defense that they put on your receiver. So make sure you drop a like. You want schemes in the members area, man. Become a, a member today. Full schemes for Madden 23. A lot of the concepts will follow you into Madden 24. So trips tight in flex is one of those. Now, I'm not going to make any personal changes. However, if you got better receivers in the Packers got because they don't really have any real good receivers. I trust Aaron Jones more than I trust the wide receivers on this team, man. And that's just the way it is, right? I, I would probably focus on the running back with this offense personnel, using him as much as I could as far as passes and beating routes. So I'll be using a lot of angle routes with this guy. But let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So we'll be in the Seattle offensive playbook. We're going to be in the trips tight and flex. And there's a plan here called the over pivot. Now I'm going to teach this to you guys so it's very easy to understand. And then once you understand what I show you, you'll be able to pick it apart within any formation. And we'll just go ahead and do random cover one. Okay, we're on the right side of the field, which is the short side. And you'll notice that on my Y route, I have kind of like a zig route, but it's inverted, it's reversed. A regular zig route goes to the outside, but we want to keep that route there. Now, what we want to do is because it's cover one or it's man defense, your opponent may shade inside or outside. So what he does is since Madden can't just do it specifically or individually, I guess you could if you align people a certain way, but if they shade inside and outside, the whole defense does the same thing, right? So let's just say they shade outside in their defense and then you have corner routes or out routes going outside. Well, the defenders are going to play those that outside leverage, pretty much slowing you down. So what I'm gonna show you today is how to take advantage of it. If they pick outside, we'll have inside. If they pick inside, we have outside, okay? Sometimes you'll have both. Sometimes in a rare instance, you'll have neither. That's just the way RNG works in this game. However, we'll have more leverage. We'll have more consistency with what I'm going to show you. All right, so our first setup for this play right here is we're gonna take X out of the equation. We're gonna go ahead and just put him on a slant. All right, you can put him on an in route slant. If you have a good wide receiver out there, you put him, keep him on a streak and then just high ball it over their heads. Like if I had Mike Evans, I could legit just leave him on a streak and then high ball it over, his, over their heads for an aggressive catch. However, we don't have that option on this team. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take A and I'm just gonna put him on a streak like this. This will keep the, out, the inside third honest in case I do break free for some mad yards. Uh, we could go down the field. And the idea behind this is to isolate the B receiver, which is Watson. And if he gets open, he gets leverage and they get the, he gets the animation where he's gonna cook the man defense. And then we're off on the sidelines trying to beat that inside, that middle third. He'll eventually meet us. Uh, and if you have better run stick, you can beat him. And then with your running back, you can do whatever you want. I suggest just put him maybe on a wheel route, right? You can do whatever you want. Uh, if you have abilities, you could put him on. I wouldn't even put him on a Texas route because we're trying to isolate the play to a specific read, okay? Now, the last thing you wanna do, the most important thing is, is putting B on a zig route. So we want it to look like this. Now, here's what's cool about this. We have the inside route and then we have the outside route. So we have B on the zig going out. So if they shade inside, we have the B route. If they shade outside, we'll have the Y route. We'll have somebody. Now, when I snap this ball, the first thing that I'm gonna look at is the B route. I'm gonna look at the animation. You're gonna tell, every, you're gonna be able to tell what's gonna be open by the animation that the guy covering B is going to give. If he goes and he sits outside before my guy even cuts and goes that way, then we know the inside leverage is gonna be free, which is gonna be Y. However, if they do get caught in the animation where we're gonna cook him on the B route, then we wanna hit the B route. Let me show you guys what I mean. So we're gonna snap the ball, I'm gonna watch him. Boom, he gets the animation like this, and then we go off to the sidelines. Now you'll notice that both of them, both of them, and this is what I talk about on the defensive side, if you're running cover one, you need to reshade for this specific reason. We all know that cover one in its base is over the top and outside shading in its stock format. However, if you're not reshading yourself manually on that defense, chances are you're gonna get beat on both leverage, both aspects, okay? So you'll see that this guy is gonna beat here, he's gonna beat this guy, but this guy is going to cook as well. Look what happens to the inside leverage. I mean, he's just done for, son. I could have th threw it to him and he would have been up the field right here about, probably get a couple yards up here. However, I always go for the outside routes because I can take off up the sideline like this. 
and I'm looking for those those yards. Okay, so remember, most important, you want to clear them out with X. If you don't have a Mike Evans or something like that, you want to clear them out. You want to zig, you want to streak, and you want to just do whatever you want with a running back. Uh, you can block them as well. It just creates more. You create a spy. You create more zone coverage on the field if there's someone designated him. It has nothing to do. Sometimes they'll come on a blitz, so it's better. You know, just to put them on a route, get them, get them into the play cycle. You can even put them on an out route, whatever you want to do. All right. Again, let's see what happens. Boom. He gets the animation. He cooks. And now this guy gets the animation again. And now we're off into the sidelines and you get a mad amount of yards. So you'll see just how the short game uh, in Madden can help you win and succeed against a lot of the mad defenses. Now, I'm what I'm what I'm really waiting for. Uh, I'm really waiting to see if the animation Okay, right there. You see that right there? You'll have this situation. I'm, I'm not going to throw the ball just so you can see it. All right. Just so you can see it. Your read may have to come in a little bit quicker, but look at this right here. You'll see that the outside leverage was there. He jumps to the outside. This is the animation you're looking for. If he sits out here, then you know inside leverage. However, because of the slant, it was, it was, a, lot, it was a lot more traffic, so you have to be careful. However, we did have the inside leverage. So how can we remedy that? We need to take care of this three red cook because he is a problem. Typically what you want to do is you want to take like A, put him on like an oh, I messed that up. You want to go ahead and try to put A on an in route. What you want to try to do is manipulate that three red cook into, into watching him. So A on a deep in route, maybe RB on the wheel like this, uh, and then trying to run it this way and then keep the streak out there. Let's just see what we get away with here. We have this right here. We have the inside, just easy money and like I said, you want to try and get that three red hook to focus on you, man. Uh, a lot of the cover ones, I don't know all of them and, and the way they run in their base. So three red hooks, depending on what side of the field they're on, they react differently. So to try to pick one route and take care of all three red hooks is, is very hard to do. However, we could probably, you know, I'm thinking about it. Maybe just bring the running back out putting him on this deep in right and let's just see what the three red hook does with this setup right here okay so he drops down yeah so he stays up you'll notice that he stays up right there on that one let me show you guys what i mean in instant replay we want to isolate that three red hook by sitting someone in his direction which is the deep in route so this guy's the three red hook and he stays up because of our running back that we put out there okay so now we don't have to worry the only problem with him being back this far is he can make a play on the ball coming down the sideline. All right, so one more time, uh, let's try something different. Let's go ahead and go, I guess we can go the run, uh, the tight end out. Let's put him on a slant this way. Uh, let's just go ahead and put RB on a streak. And let's just see what happens with the three red hook. Double slants. You have a bunch of man beaters out there. We have B already, I see it. We have B, so three red hook. You just have to find a way, your own adjustments to take out the three red hooks if you want to be practicing against cover one. Not a lot of people like to. You won't run into a cover one a lot, but you will, okay? But just not a lot. It's typically like the man blitzes and stuff like that. And this this offense right here just cooks the man blitzes. You just want to block your running back if it's a man blitz. So, so there it is. Hope you guys appreciate the video. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Love you guys, man. Peace.